What's going on guys? All right, so today we're going to talk about a problem that a lot of us filmmakers have when filming in direct sunlight. We got a solution. This is the Feel World LUT 7S touchscreen monitor. Now what makes this monitor completely different is the fact that it has a 2200 nit display. 2200 nits. Let me give you an example. I've been using a Blackmagic monitor on my camera for about a year, year and a half. That is a 500 nit display. This is 2200 nits. And that is exactly what sets this monitor apart from anything I've used, is the fact that I can go out in complete daylight and still see the entire screen in focus with all the colors. And that's exactly how Feel World is marketing this monitor, is the fact that it has 2200 nits and you can't see everything in complete daylight. Now just to give you some specs on what else this monitor has for features, it's a seven inch touchscreen display, 1920 by 1200 resolution. Now to power this monitor, you can use the Sony F970 batteries. In the menu system, it has waveforms, vector scopes, histograms, focus assist, anamorphic mode, false colors, nine grid, an SD card reader, so that way you can use your own custom LUTs. The monitor has a professional color calibration in it already by True Color, so it has a Rec 709 color standard. Okay, so the buttons at the top can also be customizable, so you can use the buttons for whatever you want. It also has a wheelhouse on the right, so you can navigate within the menu system. All right, now Feel World did send this monitor to test out and review. Uh, and again, all my opinions are my own. And I gotta tell you, this is now my go-to monitor. The size, seven inches, love it, compared to my five inch that I have been using. The brightness, again, is probably one of the things I love the most. 2200 nits, super, super bright, and you can use it outside without worrying about image loss or you're not worrying about if somebody's in focus. Another thing I love about this is the fact that you can literally rotate it, that it comes, because it comes with this as well. And you can literally rotate this display, whether you're standing up on top of it or you're looking down below, and it's absolutely beautiful because, yes, um, my small rig, you can do that too. Uh, but I love the fact that you can actually do a one complete 180 on it, which you can't do on the small rig. Now, another thing I love about this is the fact that it has true color, Rec 709 accuracy. And it shows too because it is, I've never had a monitor, because you always question when, you, when you're recording, you know, is what I'm seeing on the screen color accurate? And is, am I going to get the same look? Uh, on you know when you put, bring it back to post. If you're not using a LUT, it gets a little bit harder. And using a custom LUT here, or even on my Black Magic, of course it helps with it. But whatever color that you want to see, if you're using custom LUT, you get accurate colors on this monitor. Which I can't say for this built-in monitor for my Black Magic. I can't say that for my Sony A7 III. I can't say that when I even hook up to another monitor. So the fact that I can count on this for recording and making sure that the custom LUT that I'm using it's accurate and I'm looking at the accurate colors when filming. And this baby packs a punch for just $369 and you get reliability, peace of mind, the fact that I can go out and shoot this in the daylight and not worry about it. This is my go-to monitor now. I will use this all the time for this, whether it's this one, my 4K one, I'm gonna use it for my Sony a7 III. I mean, I can use it, always depend on it. Now, if you're gonna buy this monitor, keep in mind that it's selling as a 4K ultra bright display monitor. Uh, for 4K input. However, the display itself is not 4K. It's a full HD 1900 by 1200 resolution, which is not 4K, uh, but it does receive a 4K input. If you receive it out into a, say a 4K TV, you're still getting that resolution as well. But there's the SD card, you cannot record video on it. Like you can say like my Blackmagic or a Ninja Blade. The SD card is used only for customizing your 3D LUTs and put them in there. That's it. You can't record on the card or anything like that. And the fact that this is a 1900 by 1200 display, it is, and it doesn't show a 4K display is not a big deal to me at all because I'm still seeing everything I need to see uh, with this focus color accuracy. Uh, it's the exposure is correct. I mean, it's, it's you're getting everything you need in this monitor. And the fact that it's not showing a 4K, it's absolutely fine because you will not notice a difference when filming it. But my experience with this monitor has been nothing but positive. Uh, I would definitely recommend it to anybody out there looking for a 7-inch display, especially if you film a lot outside and you need something that's reliable in the daylight. For $369, you can't beat this. My final thoughts about this monitor is that 
I love the seven inch display. I love how bright it is with the 2200 nits. I love the touch screen. And, and I do love the fact that it does come with a couple of HDMI cables to use, whether it's a full or a mini. It does come with this monitor stand, so that way you can rotate 180 degrees. And again, everything that bothers from color accuracy uh, to the size of the screen, I had just been enjoying. I've been enjoying it so much that it has completely replaced my old black magic monitor. So this is my new go-to monitor for everything I film, whether it's inside and out. All right, guys, that's it for me. I also want to say thank you again to Feel World for sending me this monitor so that way I can test it out and review it. I'll leave all the links down below in the description so that way you can get more information on or if you want to buy it. And besides that, leave a thumbs up if you liked the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.